All right guys, in the last video I said that India uses a managed floating exchange rate. A floating exchange rate is where the rates are determined by the market forces. That is the comparative demand for dollar and rupees based on its import export scenario. But leaving it to the market forces causes the currency rates to be volatile. On one day it may be 75, when imports increase it may become 80 and when exports increase it may become 70. Such fluctuations are not good for the economy. Why? Well, won't you feel cheated if your friend buys an iPhone for 1 lakh rupees when the rupee was strong, but now you have to pay 1.5 lakh rupees because the rupee got weaker? Now, this is a very simplistic example, but having stability in prices is good for the overall health of the economy. So, RBI uses its foreign exchange reserves to stabilize the currency rates. Goal of RBI is to keep the dollar-rupee exchange rate in a limited range of fluctuation. So if dollar becomes pricier, then RBI injects dollars in the market to increase its supply. And when dollar becomes cheaper, RBI absorbs the excess dollars from the market. The effect is that prices are stabilized. This exercise by RBI is known as sterilization. Now you may think that if RBI can control the price of dollar, then why won't it just bring it down to rupees 50 per dollar or even less 1 dollar equals 1 rupees? Wouldn't it be great for our collective national pride? But that's not how economics works. In the next video, we shall see whether or not appreciation of Indian rupee is good for the Indian economy.